Hello, it's Chaplin73, and I'm here again with another artist. Um, uh, and I, I'm here today with Sam, um, Sam Maslanka, uh, who I previously interviewed, who now paints under the name of Maz Vandal. Hello, Sam. How are you doing? Hello. Uh, right. How are you? Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Um, like I said, I, I interviewed you, or oh, it must be a couple of years ago now, and um, yeah. I just thought I'd catch up with you and find out what's been going on in your world and, and what you've been up to artistically. Perfect. I mean, yeah, it was, I think it was a couple of years ago, wasn't it? Um, yeah. That was very much at the start of, of the start of everything, really, wasn't it? <laughs> um, yeah, a lot's changed. Um, the name, for one. Um, but, yeah, I now, I think when you interviewed me before, I don't think I was doing painting as a full-time job. I don't think this that was my main thing. But um mm -hmm. happy to say that it is now. Um Brilliant. I've got like that one I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um yeah, no, it's good. Uh like I say a lot has changed. Um galleries. Um I've got an upcoming show um this month actually. Um yeah, no, it's it's very it's full on, but it's 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 fun. It's definitely fun. Brilliant. I'm I'm glad you're still enjoying it. I'm glad you're still smiling. I'm glad you're being it's successful. And um, what do you think's been key to um, you know moving forward in that way? Um, to be fair, it, it's consistency. Um, you know, I speak to a lot of other artists, and I'll always tell people, you know, it is consistency. If you're putting the work in, you know, and you're sharing it, and you're doing this, and you're doing that, whatever you can do, do it. Um, mm -hmm. It, it can only be good for you, you know, it, it's, um, you know, like I say, I'm lucky enough to be doing this as a full-time career now. And that only comes with consistency, putting the work in and just sharing the absolute shit out of everything, you know, to, to the point where you probably get on people's fucking nerves a bit. But, you know, it works. It worked out well. So, you know. Yeah, I mean, sometimes social media can be a bit like that, can't it? You 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 post the same thing five times, and it's only on the fifth time that that people start noticing it. But you, yeah, you start fe so. you start feeling as though you're annoying everyone. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it's good. I mean, I, I think as an artist, you know, you, if you get that feeling, that's a good feeling, you know. Yeah. Um, share it, share it as many times as you can, and just I don't know, you know, take the step, take you know, take that big old leap, you know, if you're. A, so there's a lot of artists that want to do it as a, a full-time career, full-time job, um, but maybe apprehensive of doing so. Now, all I can say is just do it. Um, yeah. If you're lucky enough to be able to do it, you know, uh, bills and stuff always get in the way, but, you know, there, it can be done. Um, but, yeah, you know, I was just, I've done so many different canvases, different paintings and walls, different styles of stuff. And to be fair, I forget what I've done sometimes. Um, <laughs> you know, in the best way possible, obviously. But um, yeah, it's it's been a long old road and it, it's finally starting to pay off. So to that, so I'm very happy. So you've had some exhibitions? Yeah, I mean, I've had some, I was lucky enough to be with a starting gallery called Rising Gallery. Mm -hmm. um, they're in Colorado. Um, really great gallery. A lot of talent that goes in mm -hmm. those, you know, in, into that building. Um, I was with, well, I did quite a few shared shows with them with a number of amazing names, you know. Yeah. Um, and that is such a great way to get your work seen, um, get it out there and be part of something that's that's generally quite special, you know. Um, yeah. You know, having known the the people that run the gallery, it, it's even better. You know, they're, they're great guys. Um, they, they know what they're doing. You know, they're, they're still putting on shows. I believe they've got one coming up called Burn. And I'm... I've got some work still over there, so I'm in that with. Oh, there's a lot of artists with that one, um, mm -hmm. but yeah, with them, I 
managed to get into a you know a high end gallery over here um called Amber Galleries in Henley on Thames. And yeah, I guess the the workload sort of increased for me. Um mm -hmm. you know, you, you, you're putting work in, you're actually selling the work, making a good amount of money. And then that sort of spurs you on it's like, oh brilliant, you know, I'm I'm not surrounded by piles of work in canvas, I've got space and that soon fills back up. So it's it's great. Um I'm lucky enough to have a show. Um this it's on the twenty second of this month. So on the opening night I'm doing a live painting. Um oh. it's live music. It's a week long show. Um, there, there, there's a lot going on for that, which you know, for me, that that, that that's all new territory. Um, mm -hmm. I've done. I did a solo show years, years back. Um, that was I can't remember how many years. That was probably around the same time we were doing an interview. To be fair, and yeah, it's it, it's very different now. You know, um, there's a lot of people coming to you know see and you talk about your art. And, you know, for me, that's 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 very different stuff, but it's it, it's exciting. You know, um, I went up it was a couple of weeks back now and painted the gallery with a stencil of it was a boy, which I call a little vandal, and that got a lot of um, a lot of attention. Um, mm -hmm. So much that I will now be doing another painting on a gallery in Stratford. Uh, in the yeah. coming months, it is uh, an add-on to Amber Galleries, so it will be under Amber Galleries as well. They just they have more than one location, and hopefully, another show is in order. So I'll be as soon as I've done this one, I'll have a couple of days rest, and then I'll be full speed ahead again, and you know, tired and covered in paint. <laughs> So you've had a had a change of name and and obviously yes. done done a few exhibitions. Um, I was talking to an artist the other day and they were saying that uh, being part of a group show is probably a, a great way into, um, you know, yeah. that stepping stone towards doing your own solo show. Is that is that what oh, you found? Uh, kind of took the yeah. pressure off. One hundred percent. I mean, going into a, a right into a solo show can be quite scary, a bit daunting. You, you don't really know what to expect, but. It's also the workload, you know, there's a lot to it. Whereas when you do a shared show, it's usually as many pieces as you want to put in. Um, you know, with the Rising Gallery, a lot of these guys, they, they do a big old shed load of work. And, you know, they have their own wall. Mm -hmm. But it is such a, a good introduction to, like say, solo shows and doing that sort of stuff. And it, it's less pressure as well. Um because yeah. you're not the one doing everything, <laughs> you know. It, it's it's a shared workload. It, it's a shared everything, and it's it's a real good way. What I found to meet other artists, mm -hmm. um, you know, you you're all on the under one roof, under on on the flyer, and you end up looking each other, looking each other up if you if you're not friends already, and it, it's a great way to to network as well. Um, yeah. So I would. I would tell anyone if they get the chance to do these shared shows is, is do it, go for it. Because it is, it's only going to be good things, you know, it's only going to bring good things for you. Yeah. I mean, that, that that's great. And um, one of the things you just mentioned there, just pick up on the, the fact that, you know, it's an ability that uh, enables you to network with other artists. Mm -hmm. And have you found that really beneficial that obviously talking to other artists who, who maybe more successful than you at the time. Who, yeah, you know. no, definitely, definitely. You know, it, it's when you're you have a shared show and there's artists there that are you know leagues above you. It yeah. it does put it into perspective. It's like, oh well, you know, one day I can I can be like them. You know, um, I can be doing what they're doing, and it, it's sort of a motivational thing as well because it, it does spur you on, and also makes you feel, you know, you know where you are then. You know, you are doing something, you are doing well. So I think a lot of artists, they don't get the right engagement that they're looking for, the, the the views, the likes and all this stuff. It's quite easy, I think, for them to think that, oh, well, I'm not doing well, I'm not doing too good. But, you know, most of the time you are, you just can't see it. You know, yeah, I, I mean, I, I think I think with things like social media, it's, it's really mm -hmm. tempting to look at how many likes you get and think, 
Oh, yeah. I've Definitely. just done a painting and it only got 37 likes. Oh, nobody really wants to see my work anymore. I'll just give up. Kind of, yeah. You know. yeah. And it can be exactly. quite disheartening in that way. As much as social media is a, is a brilliant tool for getting your work out there, it can actually, the feedback you get from it can actually be quite soul destroying. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it can. It can. I mean, I, I've been there. I've spoke to a lot of artists that have been there. Um, and it's, you know, algorithms getting, getting over fucking algorithms for social media is quite tedious as I'm sure everybody knows yeah but you know upload it more than once upload it five fucking times you know as, upload it as many times as you want because people which is like you know what we spoke about earlier you know you upload it four times doesn't get much engagement on the fifth time you know people will see it then you know and it, it, it's it's good you know um you also do stuff that Put yourself in a bit of the deep end as well. Maybe, you know, I, I do a few different styles and you know, even ceramics. But I've done some ceramics for the the show, watercolors, all sorts of stuff. So I, I think that if you're an artist and you're interested in doing something that may not be your usual, just go for it. You know, just just go for it. And especially if you're doing it for, say, a job, a career. You don't want that to become, you know, like a ball and chain. Um, you don't yeah. want to get bored by it, which maybe bored's the wrong word, but you know, when you're when bills come into stuff, when this and that, you know, it, it, it can get quite overwhelming like that. So it's nice to change things up. It really is. Um, you can still keep whatever style you have, but it's just, yeah, saves you getting bored. <laughs> Yeah, I think variety is key, isn't it? I mean, I, I, I sort of like, I paint and I dabble in art, but I don't, I, I don't rely on it to pay my bills, fortunately, yeah. you know, just yet, you know, maybe one day I will. But, yeah. you know, it, it's, all, it's always been a fear of mine of, you know, taking that step because of that, you know, taking the fun out, because I, I dabble in all sorts of stuff. I do poetry, I do painting, I do spray paints, I do acrylics, I do, you know, whatever i do prop making for a local players group i, I, I do some it. acting i do you, you yeah. know I, I do all sorts of different bits and pieces that are all creative oh. but some of them i know i'll never make any money on. but one day you know one of those mm. strands i may decide to you know take it a bit further and, and rely on it as a as a source of income but... i think i think it's still you know even you know if, if you're doing it for um money or you know all that it's still Really, the most important thing is to do it for yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, you started doing it for yourself. That you've got to continue that. You know, um, it it helps if other people like what you're doing. You know, that yeah. that, that fucking helps. Um, <laughs> but don't let that become the main focus of why you're doing art. You mm -hmm. know, you want to keep that that reason very much the same. You know, it's just being able to do it as a career is is an added bonus. You know, um, I think it's every artist's dream to do that. Yeah. Um, but it, it, it's, like I say, taking that step can be quite daunting. Um, it doesn't have to be. You know, you, you just really need to, it doesn't come overnight, you know. Um, yeah. Like I said, when we first did our interview, I think it was a couple of years ago. I'd already been doing it for a year or so, but you know, I look at work now from back then, and oh god, what was I doing then? You know, um, and like I say to people, I was doing it for about four years, and it's the fifth year now, and now it's you know I've got my first solo show, I've got this, and you know a lot of things coming up, and it, it's it's just don't give up on it, you know, you got to keep keep doing it, even if. Sometimes you may not want to. You've got to keep doing it. So, yeah. So, so you said you you've obviously dabbled with ceramics and stuff. Yeah. Um, what else? What other mediums do you use, and and what do you enjoy doing most? Uh, oh, uh, I was going to say do ceramics, um, spray paint on walls, um, canvas, paper, sketching, uh, oils, acrylics. Uh, um, you know, I've, I, there's some clothing and stuff that I've dabbled in, and to be fair, I like it all. Um, I try to 
put my style into every element that I'm doing with, you know. So it still feels very familiar, even if it's something new. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's quite important, you know. It, it, it's good to have that, you know, that something new, but to try and keep it familiar as much as you can by putting your style into it. So, you know, that, that's you'll always love what you're doing. You know, you yeah. you really will. You you'll always love it. Really will. So you've got, you said you've got a solo exhibition coming up. Um, could yep. you tell us a bit about that? Yeah. Uh, so it's called Weapons of Maz Destruction. Um, mm -hmm. Little play on words, which I thought was pretty clever. <laughs> um, so that's going to be in Henley on Thames and the galleries. I've got around 50 original pieces ranging from oils, ceramics, spray paint on canvas watercolours, sketches. Um, it's a week-long show, and on the opening Friday night, I will be there doing a live painting on a big canvas. Mm -hmm. There'll be, I think there's a live DJ as well, so there'll be live music and people there watching me, so there's no pressure whatsoever. Um, <laughs> so, you know, it, it's good. It's like I say, it is new territory for me, but it's it's exciting, you know. It's part of it's part of the journey. It's part of the adventure, isn't it? So, mm -hmm. I think I think it'll go well, you know. Fingers crossed. Good. Well, I hope so. I, I really hope so. And, you know, <laughs> it's it's always it's always a risk, isn't it, when you yeah, you know, when you put oh, yeah, work definitely. out there. You know, I, I've I've done quite well in the gallery so far. Um, it's been a lot of, uh, I don't know, it's been quite popular. What You know, the, the stuff, I've put a whole range of different works in there and they've all been fairly popular with certain people. So I've got high hopes that what I've done now for is is going to go down well. Um, mm -hmm. It was a good couple of months of working pretty much every day. And now I can, I say, I can chill out a bit and I'm going to be drawing after we finish this. But it, it's it's sort of it takes that edge away. You haven't got a time limit to finish yeah. this stuff on, you know. Which like going back to doing stuff for money and what you you, you know you're on time limit sometimes, and, and that's just part of it. And so it's good to going back to the shared shows as well. With that gets you prepared for the time limits and stuff like this and sending, and then you've got the certificates of authenticity and signing this signing lots of stuff to the point where you just hate the look of your own signature. Um, but, you know, it's all part of it. It's all part of it. So. I, I think it's very easy for people to forget everything that goes with being an artist. You know, people see the finished product and they see this canvas on a wall in a gallery and they go, oh, yeah, that probably took him a few hours to paint. It's nice, whatever, you know, but actually all the other stuff, the, the, the backroom stuff that goes with being an artist, you have to be quite, quite multi-skilled, you know. 100%, you know, there, there, there is, I mean, okay, maybe not everyone will think this, but for me, when I came into it, there was a lot more than I ever thought of doing, you know, and mm -hmm. then going into, say, the, the more professional kind of route, the the gallery side of things it, it's they do want titles you know i i never just title my work it was i just like to paint so now it's thinking of titles which for me is it's hard you know I, i'm forever thinking like oh at, at the time you know you think of a title and it's like oh that's brilliant then you'll see it written down so like, fuck's sake <laughs> yeah that's embarrassing you know um <laughs> Um, then you've got the certificates of authenticity, which, you know, when I was first asked for, I was like, oh, fuck, yeah, all right, we'll do them. So once you're, you, you know, I'll go and deliver a load of art, and, you know, the, 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 the three days before I'm continuously wrapping stuff, and then so like, oh, I can sit down, and I oh, wait, no, I've got to print about 50 COAs off. And then you've got to sign it, and then you've got to do this, and then this. And it's all these little things that, I think just slip your mind because yeah. you think of the picture, you know, painting a pretty picture. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a, it, yeah. I think all artists have to be entrepreneurs, don't they? You know, they have to. Yeah, be. very much so. You know, you are, 
your your own advertising. Your 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 everyone. You know. Mm-hmm. Um, I say social media comes in really fucking handy for it. <laughs> so it's you know use it, use everything. You know, use it all. Um, social media, obviously, you're you're on Instagram, Facebook. Are you on anything else? Are you, do, you, uh, do you dabble I, with TikTok um, or anything like that? I or? do. Yeah, I yeah. I spent a long time you know, fucking TikTok. No, not doing that. <laughs> and then I, I I can't remember why I did it now. I think it, I can't remember, but I, I started doing videos and got you get a different sort of engagement, a different set of people and. Now, with every piece I do, I'll do a video, I'll upload it to Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and then I'll send it over to the gallery and they'll do what they're doing. And Yeah, it, it's it's become a whole new job in itself, you know. Um, but, you know, it's good. You know, as, as like I say, if you can reach people, then do it. You know, it, it's all free. So whatever engagement you get is usually, is usually good. So it all helps. And do you find working with the gallery easy, or you know, are there challenges oh, yeah. that you know? Uh, well, I I absolutely love it. Um, I'm sure you'll get galleries where you may not get on with certain people, whatever you know. Everyone's different. You can't get on with everybody. But no, luckily enough, I am with a gallery that you know the people are brilliant. They are absolutely brilliant. You know, they've done a lot of um, videos themselves about the show, advertising. Um, like a bit of short biography. Um, they put a brochure together online, so they've done. They do a lot for me, and you know I couldn't ask for anything better. I mean, even you know face to face, you know getting on with the people that they're, they're brilliant to talk to. You know they're a good laugh. So yeah, no, it, it's it's really good. I'm really happy with that. And are you? Do you do painting at events or anything like that? Yeah, I, I've done. I haven't done loads, but I have done a few. Um, I did concrete canvas two years in a row. Um, I did a couple of festivals. Uh, I think it was a, last year in the summer, and that was really good. You know, I, I would say to people, if you're into street art and doing stuff like that, definitely get involved with something like this. I mean, nowadays most cities will be putting on some sort of paint fest you know yeah. there's 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 you know you got, you got up fest you've got all these ones that are really big named that have been going for years and then you've got a lot of little ones now starting to emerge and that is a brilliant way for any emerging artist to get out there you know you, you I think a lot of artists they get so used to painting by themselves in the shed in their studio you know, wherever you caught that one. Um, and it, 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 it's a whole different thing when you're painting, you've got like 10, 15 people behind you or more or whatever, you know, and you're outside and you're doing this, but it's a different environment, but it is, it's a really good environment. You know, and it, it's one of, I found one of the best ways to get your name out there. It really is. You know, you can do your own footage of it and, there's something about watching someone spray a wall or do something like that that people will always, always flock to. You know, it, it just draws them. And I definitely found that with doing Concrete Canvas. You know, I mm-hmm. did a big old ballerina last year, I believe it was. Um, yeah, no, that was brilliant. It's still there for all I know, as far as I know, sorry. And it's, yeah, you know, I'll get people taking photos of it like is this yours oh I've just walked past this it's like yeah that was, that was you know you got good memories you meet people doing it yeah so yeah any emerging artist that hasn't yet done that i would say you know something's coming up you know a lot of these shows are now either taking you know people to to do it or what you know you just give them an email a bit of a bit of research and you'll find them yeah, I mean, I would add to that. Don't don't be off put off by the fact that you'll get rejected sometimes because they do have a lot of people apply to these things, and you know, far more I mean, than they can actually give walls to or give boards to. Oh, one hundred percent. You know, they, they are so popular, but with art, like, and well, to be any fair, anything that you do, if you're not prepared to fail, you're not going to succeed. Yeah. You know, you, you've got to go into anything you do, 
knowing that at some point you're going to either be rejected, you're going to fail, and you just got to take that in your stride. It's part of it. You can't just go into something going, oh, look at me, I'm, I'm the bollocks. You know, you know, it doesn't work like that. And I think it's it's good it's good for you to fail. It really mm-hmm. is. You know, you need that in life to then build on and you know try again. Don't be off put, like you said. Just keep doing it. Yeah, I mean the, the first the first time I ever painted live, I think it was at um, Burnham on Sea, um, they had a yeah. paint festival there, and um, yeah, I was absolutely terrified. <laughs> I was like a bag of nerves, but yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. I'm so glad I did it because I loved it. And uh, you know, I've been back and painted there again. I've painted at Western Supermare a few times. Um, you know, I've painted at Cheltenham. I've, you know, mm-hmm. it, it, it's it's. It's just a really, like you say, it's a really different experience to sitting in your shed with a, with a few cans of spray paint and spray yeah, the canvas no, or whatever. It, it really is. I mean, like that, that first one, you will be nervous. Yeah. You know, that's normal. You know, you, you're meant to be nervous. But yeah. it's, it's you're, as soon as you start painting, you'll be fine. And yeah. then you'll be so relieved and you'll get the best feeling in the world after you've done it. Like, yeah, fucking hell. I can't wait to do the next one. Yeah. It, is, it is a strange feeling though isn't it it is a strange yeah. feeling when you when you turn around and there's like 10 people watching you <laughs> oh i'm <laughs> didn't them. realize they were even I, there yeah i mean i painted amber gallery um outside you know they had a column so i did a boy um holding a roller and you know getting on with it and then turn around and there's some people across the road there's some people you know on their phones just like oh, didn't see you there, you know, and, and it's it's a nice feeling, you know, it's good engagement. You know? mm-hmm. And once you've done it on a wall or anywhere and you sort of, you're done, you take a step back and you'll see the people walk by and they'll always look. And I think that's another good feeling, you know, is watching other people's engagement with your painting. But you don't get that if you're just, if you're not showing your work, you know, seeing that work in a gallery, you know, if I go up to Amber, I'll just stand in the gallery, you know. Um, people come in and you see them looking at you working off, you know. What are they going to say? Oh, look at that shit, you know. <laughs> but no, you know, luckily, I've I've not had that. And it, it's a good feeling. You know, you sort of stand there peering over their shoulder. Like, what do you think of that bit? You know, um, it works. And that's good. Yeah, I mean, it's it's always nice to hear somebody say something nice about your work when when they don't know you're listening. It's like, you know it's yeah, genuine. No, it's then. <laughs> they just hear this, oh, thank you very much. Like, oh, who are you? But so, I did that. <laughs> I, think, so, I think sometimes the imposter syndrome kicks in and, you, and you're sort of like debating whether, whether the work's any good and people are saying it's good, yeah. but you start doubting yourself. But if you hear somebody say it when they know, don't know who you are, and yeah. they say it's good, then that's that's a really nice feeling. It's a I, I, feeling. Think, <laughs> I think every artist will have imposter syndrome to, at some point in their career and doing anything. I mean, how could you not? Yeah. You're doing something and putting yourself out there for the world to see. You're going to... I mean, it, the, the world of social media, you're going to have some negative comments at some point. It's part yeah. of it, you know. You always get you know, some knobhead. Oh, look at that! So, well, go and do better. You know, and it, it's that that again is part of part of it. You can't let stuff like that get you down either. Um, so I say, you'll always remember the negative comments over the good ones. You know, and, and I think they sort of stick in you. But it, you just got to see them as, as fuel for your fire. Part of it, you know, it's still engagement. You know, I'm like a dog. Any attention that I get is good attention. So. <laughs> yeah, and and I think I think you have to see it that way, isn't it? You know, they, they always used yeah. to say, you know, uh, even bad publicity is good publicity. Because it's, yeah, no, it's the best. Sometimes it is the best publicity. You know, yeah, you you not can't be famous, be infamous. You know, it, it's, <laughs> it yeah, and 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 sometimes if there's a little bit of controversy about your work. Mm. It gets people talking about it, and that's that's always a good thing, you know. It's, it's, yeah, it's you know, be creative. You know, it may be a hundred people would have seen it, but there was something controversial about it, and now a thousand people have seen it. Yeah, okay. Five hundred of them might not have liked it, but five hundred of them did like it, and that's four hundred more than would have seen it if there wasn't the controversy. So yeah, it's it's that balancing yeah, act, isn't it? With social media, 
if the 500 people didn't like it, they still add up to your views. Yeah. Who gives a shit? You know, it still works. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, working the algorithm in your favour. <laughs> yeah. you know, you're still a fan, even if, you know, even if you don't like it, you're still a fan, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, worth remembering, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. You know, I think it's, in this day and age, I think it's so easy to be put off by just putting yourself out there for anything you do. Mm-hmm. But you could literally give two million to charity and there'll be some knobhead going, well, he didn't give three million, did he? You know? Yeah, yeah absolutely. It, it's, it, it, it's the way of the world, you know, that you've got to, those people are just as important as the people going, oh, I love that, I really love that, because, yeah, you know, it's good. If everyone loved your work, it'd be boring, wouldn't it? Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> um, we're we're getting towards the end of the interview now. Um, I, I, I just I just wanted to um, ask you plans for the future. What what have you got coming up? Ooh, or anything? Oh, 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 lots. Um, so there, like, I think I touched on it that there's going to be another gallery opening in Stratford with Amber Galleries. Mm-hmm. Um, now I'm looking to go and paint that in the coming months similar to what I did for the one in Henley on Thames. Um, I have spoken to them briefly about another show, so that's in the works. I'm also going to be doing a free art Friday or, or a free art event where, which is with Amber Galleries too, so, you know, that will be, there'll be more info on that, but I'll be leaving, they, they, you know, they, they did say something small, but, there will be some small bits, but I'm going to do something fairly fucking big to get everyone out there, you know, <laughs> running around like a headless chicken. Um, you know, I quite like doing that. I haven't done it for a couple of years now, to be fair. But there will be some stuff like that coming up. Um, yeah, there, there, there's just more gallery stuff, more, you know, I want to do some more shows and a fuckload more work as usual. Um, I said that I was going to have a break, but in that time, I've I've done a, another series of work. Um, you know, I, I get bored if I don't if I don't paint, and I think that's quite good. But yeah, a lot more stuff really. Um, a lot more live paintings. Hopefully, I mm-hmm. quite like. I like that. You know, I like having an audience there to watch me. You know, oh, you missed a bit, or oh, that looks shit. Or, you know, it's good to have another set of eyes, isn't it? It's it's. I think it's good to have, have that interaction with your audience sometimes. Eh? Mm. So social media, like I said, you know, it's got lots of be- there's lots of beneficial things about social media, but it also, you know, you, quite often you don't meet the people who comment on your stuff no. on social media, no. and and, and um, you you're quite unlikely to sometimes. You know, they might live the other side of the world or whatever, but but actually going. I, I did one in a, a, a pasty festival in, in Red Roof right. in Cornwall and, and you know, festival, I did a live festival. painting there and people were coming over and chatting who would never see your work. You know, they'd never see your work. They were there Hang to on. listen to the music or whatever and come over yeah. and talk to you about your art, which, which is which is nice. It's just a, a, it's a nice such thing. a good environment to meet people. I mean, I've done paintings where you've turned around and there's been some young people there. And they spoke to you, oh, I really wanted to get into this. And, you know, you, you can you can inspire people. You can, you know, give them that little shove to go and try it themselves. And yeah. I think that's that's important as well, you know, by doing that and putting yourself out there, mm-hmm. you you can actually help other people by doing the same thing, which yeah. is ultimately what it's all about, you know, is, is making sure other people are doing it, as many people as you can possibly get to do it, just to go out and do whatever it is they want to do. There's no point having a job you fucking hate. <laughs> I, I truly believe that we're all born creative. We just have it sort of like knocked out of us by the system. And, and, and I think yeah. it's hugely important for artists to get out there and put their work out there so that yeah. other people are inspired to do the same. And you know, Yeah, no, definitely. And it's sort of just a lot of people will say, oh, I'm not creative. I'm not, I'm not this. And so, well, if you tried that, you probably would like it, and it, yeah. it's getting that 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 little little flame going inside of them. So, oh, hello, you know, I quite like that. 
well, I'll give it another go. Um, you know, it's important to know that everyone's shit at the first thing they do. The first yeah, time you try totally. it, you're going to be shit. Don't get yeah. put off by it. When I first started doing it, and for a number of years after, I was shit. <laughs> and then, you know, I'm, I'm quite comfortable in what I do now. Um, it's it's yeah. character building, isn't it? I think that that touches on what you first said at the very start of this interview about consistency. You know, you've just got to keep keep yeah. persevering and and doing oh, what I'm you done. do, and eventually, yeah. you know, you'll get to a point where you're quite happy with something. I won't say very happy with something because us artists are quite critical of our own work. Yeah, you? well, you know, you'll never reach perfection. It doesn't yeah. happen. It doesn't exist. You know, you know, and practice just gives you you know a bit of an edge it, it gets you going it, it, it's consistent but you'll never get to be perfect you know you'll you'll it doesn't exist um, no uh, it's important to remember that absolutely absolutely keep your feet on the ground and and just remember oh, you know, yeah. Yeah. It, it's you're lucky to if you're doing what you like to do if you enjoy your job no matter what that is, you, you're you're fucking lucky, you know. You're part yeah. of a very small percent of people because, I mean, it's a talking point. I oh, fucking hate job. Oh, yeah, me too. You know, um, we've all done jobs and had jobs that we absolutely hated. You know, waking up at four in the morning, going to a, a fucking yard and doing this, and no one wants to do that. Um, yeah, a lot of people don't. Some people love it, and that's fair play to them. But you know, yeah, absolutely. It's, I'm lucky enough to be doing something that I fully enjoy and that I feel that I can always do better. You know, I can always progress in what I've done. You know, I could have a painting that, oh, I really like this one. But I could, you know, in a year or two, I'll still be progressing. Mm -hmm. And I feel that that's good. It it just opens endless doors. It really does. Yeah, Yeah, absolutely. Well, I'm going to have to... um end the interview very soon um we're running out of time uh, but I, I just wanted to just make sure that i've said before we end um it's, it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you um I, I wish you all the best with your with your show and everything thank you very you. much um i'm i'm sure i will see on social media um bits and pieces I'll, I'll as, as they're happening social and, media you know, everything don't you worry mate <laughs> <laughs> and 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 all the best for the future and just thanks for taking some time out of your busy schedule no, to, to have a Honestly, chat with me today it's been brilliant talking to you mate it really has um no doubt in a couple of years we'll do it again <laughs> yeah 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 absolutely absolutely um, i hope so anyway um brilliant. i and all i'd like to say to my audience is if you've enjoyed what you've um heard and seen today then please hit the subscribe button below and subscribe to my channel. Um, We will have loads more interviews um, coming your way soon. So thank you, Sam, and thank you, everyone else. Cheers.